social skills. This is a very big part of uh, the deficit in autism, and it goes. It's the same thing with high functioning autism. Uh, it says people with AS may have difficulty exhibiting appropriate social skills on the job. This might manifest itself in interruptions with others when working or talking, demonstrating poor listening skills, not making eye contact when communicating. And just to let you know, it does not mean the person is not trustworthy. It just means that they are being overwhelmed with the stimuli. If they're talk, if you're talking, they might not be able to look at you in the eye if you're talking because it's too much for them. Uh, coming back, or inability to correctly read body language or understand any windows, which is a huge thing. Uh, you're going to have to verbally say something if you want to get a point across to someone with AS. You're, you can't just use body language because many people with AS do not understand it unless they make it a habit of, of really trying to uh, understand it. And, and um, with me, just a personal side note. I have to study one person for years to understand their innuendos and their body language. Years. It is. It takes a. And I'm talking about. I'm not a lifetime, but a, a, I would say a good 15 years to understand a person's body language. And I just mean one person, okay? You have to, the person with AS has developed a relationship, a trusting relationship with someone, uh, and get to know that someone and understand that someone. And because of the, I don't know what you want to call it, the nature, I guess you could say, of AS, it may be difficult to for the person with AS to really know when the person, their friend or their colleague, uh, I don't want to say colleague because if you know someone for 15 years, I would hope that you're friends and not just colleagues. Uh, but I'll use the word friend for the lack of a better word. Because I don't, I would hope that you're not acquaintances either at 15 years. I would hope that if you spend time with someone, you get to know someone, you're friends. Um, but <laughs> it is very likely that the person with AS could be still gullible because of that just um I don't know if it's just a uh, executive function that's lacking or just some other cognitive something that's lacking to where you just don't know if someone's pulling your leg or not even though you know that person for 15 years even though you know that you know that person in and out you can still be taken and and you can still be gullible and um <laughs> You don't really want to pull a joke or something like that because as someone with AS, they could really, they could take you for serious and you could be just joking. Um, you got to be careful. You got to really know the person too because they could react in a in a in a way that may not be very beneficial to them or other people around them, depending on the depending on the situation. Uh, let's see. Um, where was I? This not making eye contact when communicating, an inability to okay correctly read body language or understand any window. This can affect a person's ability to adhere to conduct conduct standards, work effectively with supervisors, or interact with coworkers on the job. Behavior on the job review conduct policy with employee to reduce incidents of inappropriate behavior. Provide concrete examples to explain inappropriate behavior. Provide concrete examples to explain consequences. Recognize and reward. Uh, reward appropriate behavior to reinforce appropriate behavior. You need to do this daily. You need to reward appropriate behavior just by verbally, you know, something like good job or pat on the back or something. And concrete examples is needed. I cannot stress enough uh, in this abstract world of concepts and just get the idea. It does not work for someone with autism. You must provide an example. Unless that person has experience in that same thing, it's not going to work. And oftentimes, uh, with me, I can have a, a situation over here and it and it could and I can understand it in that context. But that, situ that situation in a different context, I will not understand because it's different. I will need another example for that context. 
And it's in this abstract world and abstract thinking, it does not work. And this happens to me in um, academia and in work settings. Now, because of my lack of experience in the corporate world, I will probably have some issues getting used to the corporate culture. And I want to get my foot in the door of corporate America. Everybody wants to get out of corporate America. I want to get in. I want to experience corporate America. I want a career in human resources. Guess what? Human. <laughs> That's really going to be probably it's going to be an upskill up upscale battle for me because of the deficit I have in um, social interactions with people and you know um, I'm really not concentrating on my deficits right now for right now for what I know about HR that's what I want to do I may get into it and say this is horrible I can't stand human resources I may you know after a year or two of doing it I may decide this is baloney this is for the birds I can't stand it I want to go do this but for right now from what I know about HR and what's in my mind about HR that's what I want to do so I am creating because I know me I'm creating an uphill battle for myself and it will be a big huge challenge for me and um, you know I cannot stress enough the need for examples you have to provide examples for people to get the idea because if you don't provide examples the person may say yeah uh -huh, I, under I understand and they really don't understand and then the boss or the manager is gonna wonder what the world happened because you the boss or the manager assumed this person understood and the person really didn't understand and they didn't want to tell you that they really don't understand because they want to save face uh... let's see um, and Kurt, this is another thing under social skills encourage all employees to model appropriate social skills use role play i don't know about role playing on the job it may work for some but i really wouldn't expect it um, working effectively with supervisors Offer positive reinforcement, identify areas of improvement for employee in a fair and consistent manner. Give assignments verbally and in writing or both. I would say both uh, because of the nature of the memory. Uh, if you give someone, you know, verbal, uh, verbal, um, what do you call it, instructions, and a certain has something has to be done in a certain order, they may do. B before F, and F maybe, maybe F needs to come before A, you know, you need to put down in order, you know, write it down, you can't expect the person with autism to just memorize uh, the stuff, um, and if it's done every day, I would say, you know, give them a week, if it's done once a week, I would say, give them a month, and give them more time than what is allowed for, quote unquote, normal employees, uh, let's see, for um, interacting with other co-workers, you want to provide sensitivity training. You're going to want to uh, uh, train the people that they work with know about AS so they know. Let's see, memory. This is where I was touching on just a minute ago. Individuals with AS may experience memory deficits that can affect their, their ability to complete tasks, remember job duties, recall daily actions or activities. Um, let's see, it says provide written instructions, allow additional training. For new tasks, offer training refre refreshers, and prop employee with verbal cues. You're going to have to have verbal cues. You can't just uh, say, you know, go like this and expect, well, what does this mean? You know, does that person have an attitude or are you trying to tell someone something or what? You know, what does that mean? Um, the next one is multitasking, and this is very important too. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, present something separate for multitasking in the third one.